May I uh, now request our honorable chief guest, Colonel Dr. Dinesh Kumar Das, to unfurl the flag, accompanied by our respected principal, ma'am, Mr. Iptila Das, and chairman of the school managing committee, P. Santosh Upadhyay. Let our volunteers resonate with pride and be patient to the honor of and Check, 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 check. Arat Bhagya Vidhata Panjava Sindh Gujarat Marana Dravina Uttan Vanga Vindhyam Pachala Yamuna Ganga Uttala Jala Dikaranga Tava Shubha Lame Jade Tava Shubha Siddhamade May I now request our esteemed guests to be escorted over to the Vithal Raja Hall for further proceedings. Thank you. 
दिन वो फिर आया है दिन वो फिर आया है तिरंगा खुलकर मुस्कुराया है तोड़कर पराधीनता की बेड़ियों को देखो ध्वज कैसे मुस्कुराया है a very warm morning to one and all present here we have gathered here today to celebrate the 77th glorious independence day of our great nation india on this historic occasion we stand as a unit reflecting on the journey of our forefathers who dreamt of a free india it's a day to honor their courage determination and spirit that ignited the flame of independence I extend a warm welcome to our distinguished guests, teachers, students, and all the wonderful souls present here. Your presence adds to the vibrancy of this special occasion. To begin with this glorious event, I request Ms. Shreya Mohanty, the school leader, to come to the stage to address the gathering. अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी जी ने कहा था कि अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी जी ने कहा था भारत कोई भूमि का टुकड़ा नहीं है यह एक जीता जागता राष्ट्र पुरुष है कि भारत कोई भूमि का टुकड़ा नहीं है यह एक जीता जागता राष्ट्र पुरुष है अटल जी ने कहा था कि ये वंदन की धरती है अभिनंदन की धरती है कि ये वंदन की धरती है अभिनंदन की धरती है ये अर्पण की भूमि है ये तर्पण की भूमि है इसकी नदी नदी हमारे लिए गंगा है इसका कंकड़ कंकड़ हमारे लिए शंकर है हम जिएंगे तो इस भारत के लिए और मरेंगे तो भी इस भारत के लिए और मरने के बाद भी गंगा जल में बहती हुई हमारी अस्थियों को कोई कान लगा सुनेगा तो एक ही आवाज आएगी भारत माता की जय इंडिया द लैंड ऑफ एथनिक प्लेथोरा हु सॉइल इज एज सेक्रेड एज द वूम्ब ऑफ अ मदर कैरिंग हर अनबॉर्न चाइल्ड इंडिया द क्रेडल ऑफ द ह्यूमन रेस द बर्थ प्लेस ऑफ द ह्यूमन स्पीच इग्नाइटेड बाय द पैशन ऑफ ऑल ट्रूविज्म the mother of the history the grandmother of the legends and the great grandmother of traditions where the most simplest and the most royal person is greeted with the very word pranam or namaskar with endless patriotism beaming through my eyes and a proud heart of being recognized as an indian Jai Hind and a very happy Independence Day to all the Indians out there. This is Shreya Mohanty, the school leader, and it's a matter of immense pride and benign courtesy as I extend a warm red carpet welcome to our esteemed chief guest of the day. Colonel Dr. Dinesh Kumar Das and our honourable chairman, Sir Santosh Upadhyay, along with our very own beloved principal, Madam Mrs. Ipshita Das, onto this pious land of dear unity, as we are about to commemorate 
this remarkably exuberant event of 77th Independence Day. It's my sincere honor to welcome all our revered supervisors, knowledgeable teachers, supremely talented performers, my fellow comrades, and this very August audience, and every other Indian whose heart beats with patriotism. Himala Jahara Rajata Mukuta, Sagara Jahara Charana Dhue, Sujara Supala Sasya Syamala, Modesa Samana Hoi Bakie. From the journey of climbing the very stairs of Satyagraha till embracing the emancipated hearts of billions of Indians, our freedom fighters have led the benchmark so high with their audacity and quintessential leadership skills that today in the tapestry of nations, India stands as a vibrant thread woven with the colors of diversity and unity, teaching the entire world the art of coexistence through Vasudev Kutumvakam. The entire world is one big family. And just like Sadar Balabhai Patel rightly envisioned that the youth are the building blocks of the nation, thereby now it's our responsibility to ensure that the flag soars higher and higher to embark its journey towards becoming an intelligent superpower. At the end, I rest myself by saying that Zinda rehne ke mausam bohat hai magar कि जिंदा रहने के मौसम बहुत है मगर जान देने की रुत रोज आती नहीं ये जवानी है जो खू से कभी नहाती नहीं ये जवानी है जो खू से कभी नहाती नहीं कर चले हम फिदा जाने तन साथियों अब तुम्हारे हवाले ये वतन साथियों अब तुम्हारे हवाले ये वतन साथियों थैंक यू एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत Thank you for the wonderful speech, Shreya. This is a day to reflect upon the sacrifices made by our freedom fighters and to celebrate the diversity and progress that defines our country. Today, we gather to commemorate the struggles and achievements that have led us to this moment of pride and unity. To enlighten us further on the significance of this day, we are delighted to have Master Jayash. Let's, let us welcome him to share his inspiring thoughts with us. Freedom in the mind, strength in the word, pride in our souls, zeal in our heart. Good morning, esteemed guest of the day, respected principal ma'am, teachers, and my dear friends, I am Jayesh Kumar Naik, feeling privileged to be here on this very special occasion. We are all gathered here to celebrate the 77th Independence Day of our beloved country, India. It is the day of courage and sacrifice by our great and brave soldiers. No caste can divide us, no laws can separate us, no colors can decide our futures as we are the children of one mother, that is India. Almost 77 years past, we got our freedom and since then, we never look back. We are fortunate to live in a country with rich histories and cultures. So let us promise ourselves to, to protect our country, to do our duty, to help others, and 
to help others we are fortunate to live in a country with rich histories and cultures india which has a diverse population and this diversity is our real strength which makes india a unique and a special country come let us salute to the freedom fighters as well as our brave soldiers for whom we can sleep peacefully at night there is a saying that vatan hamara aisa na chhod paaye koi rishta hamara aisa na tod paaye koi hindustan hamari jaan hai hame uski shaan with this i sign out wish you a very very happy independence day wow that was powerful music has an incredible way of uniting hearts and evoking emotions may i now welcome the school choir for a soul stirring melodious patriotic song titled jeun de sore ganga bahe guided by sir mr matra prasad das and sir mr manas kumar pere before we begin let's remind ourselves that beyond the notes and lyrics this presentation is a celebration of love and the pride for our nation let us fill our hearts and bring us closer <laughs>
थैंक यू एवरी वन आई फेल्ट दैट इन माई वेन्स एंड आई एम श्योर यू ऑल डिट यू वी आर ट्रूली ऑनर्ड टू हैव अवर चेयरमैन सर श्री संतोष उपाध्याय विद अस टूडे Your distinguished experiences have not only brought you recognition, but have also inspired countless individuals. We humbly request you, sir, to share your thoughts and inspire us with your words of wisdom. my dear young friends esteemed chief guest kalnal das your esteemed and everybody's friend come principal ipsita madam my dear colleagues from teaching and non teaching fraternity school leader shreya joyes kusen who gave a solo speech very nicely and the mass singing by fellow students on behalf of everybody and the management i thank all the students who participated in this mass singing it was excellent speech <laughs> while hearing the mass singing there are some toning down of the pitch and then turning up did you mark the difference when the pitch is toned down our enthusiasm or the inert energy within the body it also shrinks it is the feeling of patriotism when the pitch is toned up its temperature inside that inner temperature also goes up we feel that yes we are proud indians so let us salute all the brave indian freedom fighters who gave their lives their families everything to give us independence way back in 15th august 1947 we salute all of them jai hind it is because of their sacrifices that we are enjoying and we are clapping we are sitting comfortably they have given us freedom from the colonized world we are just second class citizens under colonial rulers now we are enjoying the free air the free wind from our own motherland my dear young friends we have been getting whatever is coming from our country whether it is oxygen it is the first requirement for our survival the students must be knowing how oxygen is produced but there is a matter of red concern there is a depletion of oxygen level a b is the falling down of ozone layer which used to protect the environment or our atmosphere from the solar cosmic rays it is to be balanced already the climatic change has affected its ugly self we are now witnessing diversified seasonal feelings the earlier six seasons precisely winter summer rains autumn they have disappeared thunderstorms in the months of june july august september october we are unheard of so we are tending towards a invisible but definitely bad end we have to arrest it we have to delay that cessation of the environmental concepts the first thing i would request that everybody should be concerned whatever has been taught to us how oxygen is produced by the trees 
we have to plant more trees a b we have to water the trees that are existing and we do not dealing on or cut these trees branches and all the unnecessarily they are giving so oxygen in the urbanized world you are finding everywhere concrete structures you don't find anywhere this loose soil to absorb the rain water or surface runoff if the underground water is not recharged properly there will be depletion of the underground water which we are taking as ground water we have to protect it we have to conserve it there is necessity of conserving the rain water waste in each everybody's household each student should know how to conserve some quantum of rain water within his own household plantation number one aspect conservation of water number two aspect third thing is that independent indians we are proud but we have to maintain the values ethics and morality what it used to be hundreds of years before it is not confined to independence or pre independence or medieval india nothing like that india is the proud owner or producer of this age old ethics morality humanitarian gym tolerance to everybody we have to stop this declining trend we must love each other we must help each other if somebody is in distress while going from our school to the residence we must help them out if somebody is oozing out blood because of accident in the road accident something like that in hospital we must develop the self concept of donating blood so that one's life can be saved lastly i will be telling one point what is poison poison generally people think that if somebody consumes it he dies right the bigger definition of poison is that not that the adverse material which one consumes and it dies no anything excess is called poison if i have got so much of wealth then the actual requirement it is poison that excess wealth will harm me or diminish me or will cause my downfall excess food we are wasting why i am trying to say it most of the students actually all the students should inherit that culture to accept the food how much they can consume not even a drop of rice should be spilled over left over not even one food item or one vegetable should be wasted we must ask the food how much i can consume 100% the plate should be left empty after consumption so never waste any food if there is surplus food or something like that give it to stray cattle stray dogs that is better that is dharma don't waste food similarly excess fat in the body creates obesity and we become unfit excessive knowledge excessive watching the mobiles it is also detrimental for our own health do not watch the mobiles unnecessarily we have divided the policy of no mobile day on saturdays but please try to observe it and obey it all throughout your life unless it is necessary it is easier to speak than to perform ourselves also but let us try to learn the good things always say no to excess of the requirement if i require only 3 to 4 pair of dresses that is enough there no necessity of having 10 pair of dresses or 20 pair of shoes which will be waste rather we should develop the habit on daily basis of giving assistance or aid to the deprived people downtrodden there are many people who are waiting to get aids or help from ourselves one will feel happy if he or she gets a new dress rather than used dress or used sari 
develop that habit of not having excesses and shedding the excesses to the needier fellows on the 77th independence day i wish all the students who are our future leaders they will be leading the country in the next 30 40 years i want more proud scientists and more good education should come out and they should take our country to uh, the further and further now we have done this chandrayaan but there is thinking of uh, going to surya also suryayan is also under the anvil we expect that all the students will develop their scientific temper and learn good things develop this excess habit and become good human being physically fit morally fit thank you very much thank you for your inspiring words sir we are very honored to have you with us arya were you aware that the word yoga has been derived from the sanskrit word yuj meaning to join to unite or to come together oh thank you for the information i didn't quite know that yoga is essentially a spiritual discipline based on an extremely subtle science which focuses on bringing the body and mind together let's welcome our friends who teach us the science and mesmerize us with the art of healthy living yoga
I hope you all might have got inspired to adopt yoga in your daily life to stay healthy and wise. To move on with the proceedings of the event, I feel elated to welcome the resounding and gracious presence of our esteemed chief guest, Colonel Dr. Dinesh Kumar Das. Sir is trained at the National Defense Academy, Khadakwasla Pune, and commissioned into Army Air Defense in December 1983. He had the privilege to command four active units in the army, including one NCC battalion in Maharashtra. During his long service period of 37 years, he has served at various difficult terrain like high altitude areas above 17,000 feet at Kargil, Ladakh and Siachen Glacier, counter insurgency against militant at Srinagar and Baramula. He was also instrumental in quelling 1992 Mumbai riots for which Sir was awarded Chief of Army Staff Commendation. During his service period and after retirement, he continued his thirst for knowledge and has done MBA as well as completed PhD in management and then did his LLB. Now he is into social service, having voluntarily joined the Rotary International Organization. Sir, your presence here today adds immense signification uh, to our commemoration. Your wisdom and insights are invaluable and we eagerly look forward to hear your thoughts and perspectives. Sir, may I now please invite you on the dais to address the gathering with your valuable words. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'll be speaking in English. I hope everybody will understand my uh, views and my feelings. Sabse pehle. Har karam apna karenge Liye. Dil diya hai. Dil 
दिल दिया है थैंक यू थैंक यू ये गाना गाते गाते आंखों में आंसू आ जाता है क्योंकि ये वतन है ये हमारी मातृभूमि है इसको हम किसी भी हालत में इससे अलग हो नहीं सकते हैं और इसको हम इसके अत्याचार हम सह नहीं सकते बहुत मुश्किल से हमारे पूर्वजों ने फ्रीडम फाइटर्स ने जाने माने फ्रीडम फाइटर्स और अनजाने फ्रीडम फाइटर्स बहुत सारे लोग हैं जिनको हम जानते भी नहीं है और जिनको हम जिनका हमने नाम भी नहीं जाना होगा ऑल दीज पीपल वी रिमेंबर टुडे एंड टुडे इज द डे टू पे होमेज टू गिव देम रिच ट्रिब्यूट सो दैट वी रिमेंबर देम टिल इटर्निटी रेस्पेक्टेड चेयरमैन सर प्रिंसिपल सर प्रिंसिपल मैम एस्टीम्ड टीचर फैकल्टी एंड माई वेरी डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट मी विश यू टूडे टू स्टार्ट विथ हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे सेवेंटी सेवेंथ इंडिपेंडेंस डे ऑफ आर मदरलैंड वेन आई सी यू टूडे आई गेट रिमाइंडेड ऑफ माई स्कूल डेज आई आई एम ऑल्सो ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ सैनिक स्कूल भुवनेश्वर एंड जॉइन इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू एंड आई वॉज जस्ट सिटिंग इन आर असेंबली हॉल लाइक दिस फॉर वेरियस इवेंट्स including the independence day also we celebrated like this because most of the times it was raining and obviously uh, we had to unfold the flag in the drizzling rainy days but then we had to come back like this and had the beautiful event so since last so many years i remember these events and uh, i have been fortunate that almost all independence day since the time i became a colonel uh, i had been invited for uh, these events to unfold the flag this is a privilege this is a honor and after retirement i have retired now but after retirement uh, we in the army are fortunate that we have been we have been uh, privileged to don the uniform like this on this occasion of independence and the republic days so i feel elated i feel i feel elated and i thank the administration the principal ma'am and the administration and mr lalal reddy also that i was invited here to for the occasion i'm so thankful to all of you now we are like chairman sir said we are breathing free air because of the hard toiling and hard uh, freedom fighters they had to face the hardship like those who have seen the cellular jail in andaman nikobar it was the freedom fighters had to survive in those 8 feet by 8 feet small little rooms for their for long time for 
like Veer Savarkar, he stayed there for more than 14 to 15 years. So one can imagine in a small cell, he had to stay and he had to eat and urinate there and pass fecal also there. So he, you, can, you can understand how difficult it is. So these are the difficulties they have faced and that because of them, we earn the freedom and today also, like when we are They are guarding our borders, like in Siachen, in minus 45 degrees centigrade, or in Rajasthan, in the summers, they are braving the 50 degrees centigrade, plus 50 degrees centigrade, but they have to, they have to stand there, they have to, they have to guard our borders. Because of them, we can enjoy and sleep peacefully within our country. So we must thank and because and they have also martyred their life. They have they have also martyred like those people who have heard about uh, Kargil war or the other wars. So they because of those martyrs, because of them, we are now free to breathe free air and drink free water. Today, our esteemed Prime Minister have launched this program of Mira Desh Meri Mitti. Those people have heard this program, new program, Meri Mitti Mera Desh. So, what is the aim of this, this program or this aim of the uh, Prime Minister is to honor those martyrs from the villages, the soil of those martyrs where they stayed in those villages. The soil will come from all those villages and reach the panchayat, then the block, then the district, then the state capital and thereafter it will go to the national capital Delhi and there they will, all these, all these soil, all these ye sare mitti jo hai ikatta hoke ek hamara martyrs ka ek udyan banega ek there will be a there will be a garden there where everybody can visit and pay their respect homage to those martyrs who have who have sacrificed their life for our, for our nation so i urge all the students of all um, everybody in fact to actively participate in this campaign of mera desh mera mitti there, then only we can involve ourselves in our national building our nation today is poised to be a very great power you are all aware that we are firstly we are the largest democracy the, the, the opinion of the people is always supreme. We are not like other countries where people are neglected. Everybody is important for us. Firstly is that and secondly our economy is developing. We are the, la the most developed, I mean the fastest developing nation now. I hope everybody is aware, definitely. Everybody is listening, everybody is seeing the internet, everybody is seeing, uh, today everybody is aware. We are the fastest developing nation now. Our GDP is growing at 7% per, per annum. Very soon we will be, I mean today we are the fifth, uh, fifth largest economy and very soon we will be the third. And like the aim of the uh, the uh, political hierarchy is that by 19 uh, by 2047 we will be a developed nation and will be uh, most likely will be a leader of the entire world so for that 2047 who are the fu the future you are the future of our nation 
we will look forward to you. You have to build our nation. You have to for, take our nation further to the highest level, to the pinnacle. Hope everybody understands me. Okay. Now, I said about the economy, the military also, like today you have seen the military also and uh, in this space also, we are, we are the leaders now, we are becoming the leaders. Our Chandrayaan is almost about to uh, land and uh, the military also, we have a strong military. Today we are the fourth largest military, but then we are second to no, no one. Nobody can in fact uh, scare us. We are only, our aim is to only protect our country. We are not advancing and capturing other places, but, our, but not, a single, not a single inch of our land can be taken by anybody. That powerful military we have, like we, you must have heard about Kargil War. So Kargil War, even the enemy was surreptitiously, it occupied so many posts. But ultimately, ultimately after two to three months, we had to, we threw them out from each and every post. Not a single inch was given to the enemy. And now, after Kargil, you must have heard about Balakot, you heard, must have heard about Galwan. So now the, our political strength is so much that if somebody is doing some mischief, then he will face. We'll definitely go in for surgical strike. We'll definitely throw them out like we have thrown the Chinese out of the Galwan Valley. We'll not tolerate even a single foot in, of the enemy in our, in our land. We are lucky today that we are in an age that our country will, is developing and soon it will be a leader. So you are, you are the one who has to take, take our country to the highest level. Now, I have a small thing to say that we should not be scared, scared about our failures. We, we must emulate, like you must have heard about Abdul Kalam ji. Everybody heard, heard about Abdul Kalam, our president, uh, beloved president, president? He, firstly, when he, when he, was, uh, when he became youth like, uh, like us, he wanted to join the Air Force. He tried number of times. Thrice, four times he tried to join the Air Force, but he could not. But he was not worried. I mean, he did not, he, he was not scared to become, uh, become a failure. So ultimately, he became a scientist and to, af after that, he, you know how, what he did. He had launched so many missiles and he was the leader of so many campaigns, so many projects. And ultimately, he became the president of India and he was the supreme commander of all the three forces. And the Air Force had to invite him to sit in the, in the cockpit of a fighter pilot, fighter aircraft, and he was flown in the Air Force, in the aircraft, as a leader. So, my, my only request or my aim is to don't be scared about your failures. Try and keep trying. If there is one way is closed, the other way, way will definitely come up. So as a student, you must keep trying. We are hearing so many mishaps. The students are scared and they are, they are uh, committing so many uh, blunders. Some, people are, some students are committing suicide also. But this life is so precious. One should not take these such wrong steps. The main culprit today is the mobile phone. Mobile phones, which, are, which we should be using it positively, we are not using positively. We are using, so many uh, incidents have come, we are using it negatively and we are facing the wrong thing. So try to avoid these mobiles, 
and only use it only for positive means. Now, like I was saying about the military, I will say again that we have all heard about Kargil War. Thereafter, we have heard about the surgical strikes. What is the difference between Kargil War and surgical strikes? The difference is the political will. The political will has to say what the military has to do. In Kargil, they said Ki, you don't cross the LOC. The line of control should not be crossed. We don't want an inch of land from the enemy, but we don't want to give an inch of land from our, our country. So that was the limit. But today, the politicians say, if you, make a, if you do some wrong thing, we go to your place and we'll destroy you. We'll go inside. We'll not be scared. We'll go inside you and we will destroy you and we'll come back. So, that is the political will which is required. If we, if we don't have the political will, then even if the power, most powerful military also will be of no use. The will, political will, we have to support the political will and then we will act according to the political desire. Now another point is about the military career. Now, no, all careers are good. Everybody has got their own place under the sun. This Suraj ke niche, Bhagawan ne jo banaya hai, Bhagawan ne har ek chiz, har insaan ko ek ek jagah diya hua hai. So my point is, the military career also is one of the good career. If you choose that, you have to go all out. You have to have a instinct. The junoon hona chahiye. Jos or junoon hona chahiye military mein jaane ke liye aur military career कोई इतना मुश्किल नहीं है कोई इतना डिफिकल्ट भी नहीं है मगर इतना आसान भी नहीं है और बाकी करियर जैसा मिलिट्री करियर भी अच्छा करियर है अगर आप चूज करते हैं तो देन यू हैव यू लीड अ एडवेंचरस लाइफ यू कीप फिजिकली फिट यू बिकम पैट्रियट यू बिकम डिसिप्लिन and ultimately, you lead a very good, positive, good health. So, if your health is good, then everything is good for you. If your health is not good, then you have to look after your health. So, I urge all the young students to look at the military career as one of the good career. And if there is any guidance required, then you can, you can also take advice from your seniors, your uh, neighbors who have joined the military and thereafter there's so many so much of scope today even the agnibis also have come up and other careers are there so my point is military career also is a good option for you and I wish all the students the very bright future and have a good life and think always positive think always positive then you will achieve the best thank you thank you sir your words really inspired many. We all salute you from the core of our hearts. The essence of our nation lies in its diversity. And what better way to celebrate that than through cultural performances. So, get ready to be mesmerized by the talent of our students who have prepared to showcase the rich tapestry of Indian culture.
as we celebrate the hues of our flag let us also celebrate the unity in diversity that defines us as a nation throughout history tribal dances have been a way for different communities to express their stories traditions and beliefs today we have gathered here to witness that vibrancy before we dive into the performance let's take a moment to appreciate the importance of preserving and showcasing tribal cultures these dances are not just movements they are a living representation of our shared heritage
দাদারে মইরা দাদারে তোকে রাখি কে নাচি নাচাই দি তোকে দিয়া তোকে দিয়া মইরা দাদারে মইরা দাদারে তোকে রাখি কে নাচি নাচাই দি May I now request Rajiv sir to conduct the prize distribution ceremony. आन देश की शान देश की देश की हम संतान हैं तीन रंगों से रंगा तिरंगा ये हमारी पहचान है जय हिंद so hand in hand as we are observing the 77th independence day of our great nation on the campus of our school the stage is now all set to felicitate and honor the proud members of our dav fraternity and dav united family so for the purpose may i now have the privilege of inviting upon the stage the chief guest of the occasion and our esteemed chairman sir and revered principal madam to kindly grace the seat and at the same time i request all the participants and all the audience gathered up here to remain alert and encouraged to provide positive vibes and good gestures as i keep on 
announcing the name of the great winners of multiple events of our school and other competitions. So to begin with, I have a very, very special honor in inviting to the stage Ms. Prapti Pratiksha Sahu of Class 9C. Can I have a huge round of applause for her for securing first position in circle level and second position at national level in the UPU national level letter writing competition held on 26 March 2023. I must say that along with a certificate of merit, Prapti was awarded with 50,000 rupees cash prize. And it is a great achievement, great pride for all the members of DAV fraternity, DAV Unit 8. So congratulations Prapti for this momentous achievement. May God bless you. Moving on, I feel greatly delighted to call upon the stage Miss Nanika Jena of Class 11J Humanity who is the winner of the third prize in the national level painting competition on the team Tiger, the king of jungle, to commemorate 50 years of Project Tiger organized by National Museum of Natural History in collaboration with National Tiger Conservation Authority under the aegis of Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change Government of India. The competition was held on 29 July 2023. So she was awarded with a certificate of merit as well as 3000 rupees cash prize. And here she is getting felicitated with a memento from DAV Unit 8. So congratulations, Nanika, and best wishes for your future as well. Going forward, So can I have uh, the applause from the audience in the process? Congratulations, Nanika. Moving on, I'm elated to announce the names of the winners of the PowerPoint presentation competition on the topic of the journey of school since inception and my school at 75, uh, my school of dream at 2046, uh, which was held on 7 August 2023. I must make a special mention here that the competition is the brainchild of our esteemed chairman sir to instill among the students a sense of belongingness for their alma mater. So to begin with, for the third position we have Master Priyanshu Siddharth Vanjadeo of class 9C and Ms. Prapti Pratiksha Sahu of 9C and Master Soro Vehra of class 12A. So I call three of them to be on this stage to be honored and placed by the dignitaries on the dice. Can I have these three students, Prapti, Priyanshu and Saurabh, those who are the third prize winners of the PowerPoint competition. And their creativity was reflected in that entire PPT which they have made. Their views were excellent and they came out with very innovative ideas. So many, many congratulations to all the winners, third prize winners of the competition and moving on. For the second prize, I call Master Sneasis Padi of 12E and Ms. Virisa Vaidishova of 12C for bagging the second prize in the competition here. So may I request the winner of the second prize to come to the days and to be blessed, honored and appreciated by the dignitaries on the days, definitely your show was excellent and beyond expectations as you showcased a lot of talents in there. Your slides were lively and they really reflected about the glorious future that you are ensuring for our, the future of our school. Congratulations and moving on. The The first prize winner of this competition is Master Swatik Mohandas of Class 9A who displayed excellent innovative ideas enriched with great vision 
in order to make the PPT so creative and appealing and therefore he was the first prize winner in the entire competition. Congratulations! Now the most awaited moment of inviting the display board competition winners for the first quarter for the primary wing for class 3 to 5 on the topic one art, one family and one future the runners up goes to 5A. So can we have huge round of applause for them? I request Madam Mrs. Ranjita Satpati along with her team to come to the stage please and this great challenge the students and the team of class 5A. The runners of prize goes for the first quarter of display board competition. Uh, Madam one. And uh, as the team is gathering up here with great elation, as you can mark, their hard work have, has really paid up. And congratulations to the class teacher as well as the entire team. And as we go forward, the winner class of the same wing, of the same topic, is class 4C. Class 4 and Section C. So I invite the whole team with the class teacher, Madam Mrs. Sonali Monti, to come upon the stage, please. The first thing that you notice in the classrooms these days is the display board itself, which is vibrant with many kinds of colors, patterns, and decorations. I repeat, the topic is one earth, one family and one future. The first prize winner of this quarter of the junior wing, class 4C. So there is a lot of excitement, not only amongst these winners, but also amongst the students, those who are encouraging everyone. Congratulations, class 4C. At the same time, moving on for the middle segment from class 6 to 8 on the topic digital transformation, the runners up goes to class 8D. Class 8D. So, absorb Mr. Rajan Kumar Das and the team. I request the entire team along with the class teacher to kindly come to the stage to be appreciated so you can mark this elation once again on the faces of these winners the excitement of this all can hardly be compared because this is probably the most exciting moment that is coming out in this observation so far can I request everyone to encourage the winners seems like the whole team is present and the gathering is making a pronunciation here that their teamwork is getting appreciated on the stage here and it is a huge uh, teamwork as we can mark the number is huge the whole class has taken part in the team. The runners up. The runners up. Class 80. And uh, the next uh, team that will occupy the stage now is the winner team of the middle section and I call upon the stage the team of seven
I would I would request all the gathering to remain silent, please, so that we can go forward smoothly. Kindly maintain silence. All these students in the audience are requested to maintain silence, please. Due to of this time constraint, we need to be fast. And as we go to the winning team of this middle section, I request the team of 7F. 7F to kindly come to the stage along with the class teacher. Along with the class teacher. Madam Miss Devlina Ghosh. Madam Miss Devlina Ghosh is requested to come to the stage along with the team of 7F who are the winners of the middle section display board competition. So many, many congratulations. To the winners and the class teacher on this splendid achievement, definitely the board is very lively and colourful. So the winning team is on the stage getting the recognition of their hard work. The class of 7F and as you can see this, and in a segment, and in a segment of 9, 10, 11 and 12, the topic was India and the G20 summit for which the runners up are 9E. So I request the class teacher, Madam Mrs. Nivedita Sau and her team to kindly come to the stage quickly and Topic was the G Summit. G Summit, madam. G Summit. India and the G Summit. As the stage is going to be occupied by the winners, the, the runners up of the senior segment from class 9, 10, 11, and 12 for the topic India and G20 Summit. This it's a splendid moment for everyone here, those who took part in the decoration of the board and displayed great teamwork and effort. So many, many congratulations to the team and to the class teacher, Madam Mrs. Nivedita Sau, for having this great effort and coming out as the runners-up. I repeat the topic was India and the G20 summit. There are smiles on their faces and great excitement as you can mark. Congratulations. And moving on to the final announcement of this display board competition. We have the winners from the senior segment and it is class 11C led by Sir Mr. Birendranath Karan. And it's 11. 11. Class 11C. So I request the class teacher to lead the class, Sir Mr. Birendranath Karan. So many, many congratulations to the winning team, the class teacher and the team here. Can we have a huge round of applause from the gathering to encourage the winning team of this display board competition on the topic India and the G20 Summit for the senior segment 9, 10 and 11 and 12. So congratulations all of you. It is indeed a Great honor for me to announce all this. As we have come, may I request the gathering to remain silent, please. May I request the dignitaries to kindly be in the stage. So as we have come to this end of this prize distribution ceremony, now the time has come to express our gratitude and token of appreciation for the felicitous presence of our chief guest of the occasion. So I request our esteemed chairman, sir, and principal, madam, to felicitate our chief guest with an 
Uttariya. Can we have a huge round of applause for Sir, whose invaluable words made the day for us, a sapling in order to promote a sense of devotion to nature and greenery and a patichitra and a painting that we are getting. <clears throat> thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. That is all from this segment. Jai Hind. May I now request the dignitaries to kindly occupy their seats. Let's proceed further. In this realm of artistic expression, where movement and rhythm merge with the heartbeat of our nation, let's witness a unique fusion of patriotism and creativity. Let us welcome another amazing performance on the stage. As the music starts and the dancers take their positions, let us immerse ourselves in the celebration of our nation's independence. Let us be inspired by the story that they tell us through their movement and let the energy remind us of the unbreakable spirit that courses through the veins of our nation. जहाँ पवन बहे जहाँ पर्वत गर्व सिखाते हैं जहाँ पवन बहे संकल्प लिए जहाँ पर्वत गर्व सिखाते हैं जहाँ ऊंचे नीचे सब रस्ते भक्ति के सुर में गाते हैं उस देव भूमि के ध्यान से मैं धन्य धन्य हो जाता हूँ उस देव भूमि के ध्यान से मैं धन्य धन्य हो जाता हूँ है भाग्य मेरा सा भाग्य मेरा मैं तुमको शीश नवाता हूँ मैं तुमको शीश नवाता हूँ और धन्य धन्य हो जाता हूँ मैं तुमको शीश नवाता हूँ और धन्य धन्य हो जाता हूँ Yeah. 
Shanmangalam Om Mangalam Shanmangalam Om Mangalam Shanmangalam Manzil door 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 hai mushkil paas hai phir bhi khwab 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 mein twinkle stars hai Om Mangalam Shanmangalam Manzil door 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 hai mushkil paas hai phir bhi khwab 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 mein twinkle stars hai chand ko karke rahenge aaj overtake hum chance hai 3 2 1 boom dil mein paas hai kyunki dil mein paas hai ओ सद ते मैं जावा मेरी दिल जानिया मैं शीश झुकावा मेरी दिल जानिया तेरे नाम जो कर जावा कम है वो तू सारे जहा से प्यारी मेरे भारत की बेटी है सारे जहा पे भारी मेरे भारत की बेटी दिल जान है शान हमारी मेरे भारत की बेटी जीती रहो जीतती रहो अतिथि देवो भव अतिथि देवो भव सुस्वागत सुस्वागत में शांति लाएंगे हर मुश्किल को हराएंगे विश्व में शांति लाएंगे हर मुश्किल को हराएंगे अब होगा विश्व खुशहाल होगा विश्व खुशहाल हमारा होगा विश्व खुशहाल नई कहानी अब आ 
आसमा को सुनाना है गर्व है इस तिरंगे पर सारे जहाँ को ये दिखाएंगे अमृत काल मनाएंगे घर घर तिरंगा लहराएंगे घर घर तिरंगा हर घर तिरंगा चिंता चंदा बने बने गु to the dance team for such an energetic and amazing dance performance as we come to the end of this remarkable celebration let us remember that the freedom we enjoy today was hard fought and must never be taken for granted let's pledge to contribute positively to our nation's growth and uphold the values of unity and diversity Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. May I now call Assistant School Leader Alka Nanda to express gratitude and appreciation. Thank you, Sanvi. I stand before you with a heart full of gratitude and appreciation for the incredible support and participation that has made this day a resounding success. First and foremost, our sincere thanks to our respected chief guest, Dr. Colonel Dinesh Das, who shared his valuable insights and wisdom with us today. I further thank our chairman, Sir SMC Sri Santosh Upadhyay, for gracing us with his presence and for his enlightening words that have truly added a special dimension to today's event. Thankfulness to our beloved principal, Mrs. Apshita Das, who has always been the backbone of our success. I extend a sincere appreciation to the speaker of the day, Master Jayesh, for his thought-provoking words, 
Well done, Jayesh, for your insightful and impactful presentation. I stand with immense gratitude to express a heartfelt thanks to the wonderful choir song group that has graced us with their remarkable performance today. We are immensely grateful to the dedicated dancers whose mesmerizing performance transported us to the rich cultural heritage of the tribal community. My thanks to the talented dancers of Swadesh who enchanted us with their grateful moves, electrifying energy and seamless synchronization. I extend my thanks to our esteemed Civil Defense Department. Your unwavering commitment to service, discipline and leadership has been an inspiration to all. A sincere and heartfelt thanks to the Physical Education Department too. In closing, let me reiterate our sincere appreciation to each and every one of you. Your presence and support have made this day a true success and we look forward to continue this journey of growth and learning together. Thank you and Jai Hind.